In the Committee of Economic and Monetary Affairs of the Parliament, we value women and we would like to see more of them in the financial sector and in the economic governance of the European Union. In the past year, we've seen good progresses. We saw the first woman president of the European Central Bank, Christine Lagarde, and then Isabel Schnabel appointed as member of the executive board, and Commissioner McGuinness, the first woman to be commissioner for financial services and stability. And we do have Elke Koenig as a chair of the single resolution board. But this is not enough. We still see too few women in leading roles and we need to do more. But to do more, we need everybody's commitment. European institutions, of course, but also national governments, central banks, companies, universities, local communities. That's why we are asking for everybody's support. Help us, help us value women, help us bring them where they could and should be. Moreover, the ECB Governing Council will continue to make a net purchases under its asset purchase program at a monthly pace of 20 billion as long as necessary to reinforce the accommodative impact of its policy rates. There are too few women in economics and there are too few women in central banking. At the table of the Governing Council of the ECB, there are 25 persons only two of them are women. It doesn't have to be that way. It can be different. But we need to respond to challenges. So I want to point you in the direction of three challenges. First, a challenge to women. Have confidence in yourself. Trust yourself and your female colleagues. Yes, you are and you can be top-notch professionals in economics. Don't let yourself be intimidated. You have what it takes. Second challenge to the parents. Please contest the idea that a good economist has to be a boy. Those are cliché. Those are biases. Contest them. And my third challenge is to all of us, men and women alike, in the professional world, in our family circles. We have to help each other. We have to support each other. And I encourage all of you, men and women, to actually support women in the fields of economic and central banking. We can all help. If we do, it will improve the excellence the quality of the debate, and certainly the diversity of views, which is critical for a good deliberating and decision-making process. We are up to the challenges. Let's do it. Thank you. Welcome here. I would kindly ask the press to now ask for once more, please accept the apology from Mr. Gutierrez in not being here. I therefore agree with the view of the Governing Council that a highly accommodative policy... I'm really pleased to be a member of the first Gender Balanced College of Commissioners and indeed the first woman to look after the portfolio of financial stability and capital markets. But it has occurred to me and to many of you that when you look at finance generally, you see pinstripe suits perhaps, you don't see too many women. And I think that's something that we need to change. And it's not that women aren't educated in finance and economics, it's just that we don't see them at different layers and particularly at the higher levels in this sector. I'm very happy to support a move in that direction and I believe we should and must get to a more gender balanced financial sector. Our goal is for the European Union to be climate neutral by 2050. A fair financial system with zero tolerance for money laundering. Good morning. My name is Erika Koenig. I am chair of the Single Resolution Board in Brussels. And I've been asked to give you my view on how can we ensure that we get gender equality that we get women encouraged to take up positions in finance, in economics. And being asked this question, I was a bit pausing myself because I was actually asking myself, why do we still need to ask that question today? So what do we need to do? 
no doubt we want gender equality, we want diversity, diverse teams have more creativity, diverse teams are better to work with long term. But it also means for any woman that starts a career, go for it. Try to find your way. We need to go forward. We need to encourage women. I'm personally trying whatever I can to do so. But we need also to be realistic. In the end, all that counts is qualification for a job. And I'm absolutely sure that there are as many qualified women as there are qualified men. So I stay optimistic. That's probably the only thing to do. And I really encourage all girls, go for it. It's worth to make a career. It's worth to try to do whatever it takes to succeed. Thank you. And now I give the floor to Elke Koenig, who is the chair of the Banking Union Single Resolution Board. Uh, looking at the Banking Union, I think uh, Daniel has, played, has already given all the good arguments for the Banking Union. Women are central, not just in central banks. Therefore, we make great efforts to promote gender equality. Ten years ago, we adopted a diversity action plan which helped us to increase the share of women at all levels. And key was to ensure that young women actually apply. But the share of women is still too low, especially in management positions. And this is why we announced a new enhanced gender strategy, which foresees that one half of our hires and our promotions are women. And we do much more, scholarships for talented women, leadership programs, mentoring, childcare, and an overall inclusive culture. We know that our institution thrives on diversity and gender equality is one very important aspect of it. Honorable Madam Chairwoman, honorable members of the European Parliament, I feel honored and humbled to have been nominated for the position of a member of the Executive Board of the European Central Bank.